So this is it. This is probably going to be the end of Jailbreak. Well, it's complicated, so let me explain. There's good news and bad news. However, I think the bad news greatly outweighs the good news. And this entire situation has really caught the Roblox community off guard. And yeah, let's go ahead and just talk about it. So I do apologize for being about a day late to this because this was posted on March 29th. However, I had a lot to do on that day. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to talk about it. But yeah, Asim and BadCC made a joint statement yesterday and they tweeted this out. It forces the same thing, same image. I don't know why they posted it twice right here. Here's the full image up close. I'm gonna go ahead and read it to you and then I'll give you guys my thoughts. Jailbreak is turning seven. What began as an idea by two online friends became a phenomenon that we still can't believe. Having a game loved by so many for so long is a developer's dream. After many years and hundreds of updates, we feel ready to turn the page and call an end to the monthly update cycle. The game has so much content these days, we want to avoid bloating Jailbreak with niche features that only benefit a handful of people, and we're itching to develop and learn from crazy new moonshot game ideas, whether they succeed or fail. We want to dedicate everything we have to these new projects. We love making games. But first, a live event is happening. Join us late April to celebrate the game. Players, streamers, creators, and the history we've made with you. Teasers will be here in the coming weeks, and we look forward to the celebration. Stay tuned for more info. This isn't a goodbye. We still love Jailbreak. We plan to support our creators and see, keep our seasons going with new cosmetics for those interested. We will also push important bug fixes. Long term, we love to surprise you guys with new features when they're ready. Thank you to all that play Bademo, or all that play the phenomenon. So yeah, this literally says the same thing, but let me give you guys my thoughts. So the good news is Jailbreak is going to be having live event. Live event is officially confirmed with a little of speculation here and there. It's been official. It's official. Live event is happening late April, probably April 22nd, because that's the jailbreak anniversary date, and we want to celebrate that. April 22nd, unfortunately, falls under a Monday, so that is not really a good day, to put it. So maybe on Friday, April 19th, because, you know, Monday, that's when people have school and stuff, and people are busy. It's also a weekday, and it's like the first weekday, so that's pretty bad. So I would say maybe like Friday or maybe like uh, 26. I don't know. Something like that. They're probably not going to do it on a Monday or maybe they will. We'll see. But what do I think about what is happening here? Well, let me try to explain why they're even doing this. Why is Bedemo ending their monthly cycle updates? Basically, there is not going to be that many updates anymore. It's going to happen once in a while. And the only thing they're really going to be doing consistently will be seasonal updates. And I feel this is not good. So they said over here that after many years and hundreds updates we're finally ready to end monthly cycle up there monthly update cycle and the reason is to avoid bloating jailbreak with niche features that only benefit a handful of people and they are trying to learn to create moonshot game ideas whether they succeed or fail and they love making games so if you guys didn't know but demo did release a new game it's called rocketeers they released this about a month ago the game has two million visits and it is slowly growing so the demo i mean i guess the bad tc and asimo are trying to focus on making this game and continue pushing updates to this game and they probably have more ideas in place not just rocketeers they probably have more games they want to put out because as you do know but only has these two games and games like i don't know big games for example if you look at big games they have multiple games i've got my restaurant here big paintball if you look at their other group they got pet simulator which is what they're known for they have like multiple pet simulator games a lot of game studios have multiple games so that is one of the reasons why why they are doing this but however another reason and i think this is the major reason is that jailbreak they're running out of ideas for jailbreak and let's just be honest they've added pretty much everything i know i've said this many times but they've added everything you guys have asked for like there used to be a list of stuff that they put that said will be coming or they will have ideas for it and i think they've done all those ideas i forgot what website that was but they did have like an idea like sketchboard where they'll put and show the upcoming stuff or something they have ideas for and they added it. You know, we got like trading, we got like tanks in the game. Okay, there was a hacker in that game, so I'm just gonna leave it because they were trying to like just play around with me and I want to have some serious talk. So let's go ahead and talk about that. So as I was saying, they have added pretty much everything you guys requested for or the, what the jailbreak community wants. They have trading, they have planes, they have tanks, they have, I guess people have asked for maybe like a museum robbery, a train robbery. I mean, that, that was like from a long time ago, but you got what I'm saying. They've added everything people have been requesting for or what's popular in the community that they want, they added it into the game. And Jailbreak has added so many things that what really can you add more? I mean, you can add more robberies, but that just creates, you know, more robberies. And I guess the game 
game is about robberies, but after a while, you kind of just get, oh, it's just another robbery to the game, and, you know, you might use it, you might not use it, and they've added a, you know, robbery cycle now, so not that really matters, because you have to rob the stores that, you know, pop up, but basically, they've kind of added everything you can to a prison genre robbery game, like, they're number one in the prison genre, and I guess in the robbery genre as well, and yeah, they're probably the same genre, but, you know, they're number one in it, they, they average pretty good, like, I think 25k players on, you know, pretty much every Saturday on peak days and stuff. They're number one in everything, and they really can't think of anything to do. I mean, I can't either. Like, <laughs> is there any really good ideas out there? I mean, I don't really blame them for this. I guess other things to do now, because they want to focus on more games than Jailbreak. There's a lot of, you know, genres out there in Roblox that are really popping off, and, you know, for the prison genre is long over. I mean, it got started with Prison Life, and that was in 2016, guys, and they released this in 2017. So, they are, I guess you would say, it's an outdated genre, but you know, they're number one in the genre. So another thing that I did say was that, you know, the updates they put is, you know, like niche features that only benefit a handful of people. Let me try to explain that a little bit. What they mean is like a lot of stuff, you know, like new cars and stuff, they have made it, I guess, a little bit costly so that new players, or I guess, I guess rich players will be able to buy it and stuff and new players will have to, you know, grind up to get it. So it really, really benefits, you know, the rich players and stuff. But what they're saying is the features that do come out, they're probably going to benefit only, you know, maybe the act player base and most Jailbreak players probably I would say are casual and stuff and they're just regular fans that maybe like hop in and hop out you know stuff like that so it doesn't really need to have an update each month to keep them playing because they're you know they're casual that's how I perceive it really but you know maybe they perceive it other ways but that's how you know I think what they are feeling here's Jailbreak statistics we got you know 20k players on a Sunday and you know on regular days we get you know 15k or more 17k it seems it's also like has a growing trend and today we got nearly 25k which is pretty crazy if you look at daily i mean it has been like i mean 2020 was pretty good um but you know it's been stable now you see the player count has been stable for the past few years i mean this was 2022 and you can see this is sort of like a flat line. There was a little bit of boost over here, but that's over the summer. You can see the 2023 summer boost, but you know, it's going to be around 25K ish. Now, what do I think about this? I think this is not good because, you know, the seasonal updates, they're going to keep on doing seasons, which is like every two months or so because, you know, seasons last like 60, uh, 60 ish days. And I think it's a bad thing because, you know, the last few seasons, let me just be honest, the last few seasons were not that good. People are just not excited about seasons like they were in 2021 when seasons were like really good people wanted the car they wanted everything everyone's excited for seasons i feel they haven't had a good season since japanese season which was like a year ago so that is a long time since they had kind of a good season so that's why I feel like this is not good because, you know, just people are not really excited for seasons and they're not going to be adding anything else except for seasons and periodic updates. We don't know when because that's really vague. That could mean maybe every two months or maybe every four months or six months. We don't even know. Maybe, maybe I don't know, a year from now. It could mean anything because it's vague and they said they're stopping the monthly update cycle. So this really spells disaster for Jailbreak in my opinion because, you know, updates is what makes games stable and I think that's what's made Jailbreak stable for the past, you know, seven years now, seven years of this game, it's been stable because of monthly updates. And I've constantly praised Jailbreak consistency. They have pulled an update every single month for the last, I guess, every single, you know, year since they released the game. I don't think they ever missed a month. I mean, I guess they've taken a break during, you know, the winter. They have maybe like one and a half months where there hasn't been an update, but never like, I guess, two months without an update. You know, we still get an update. They're just taking a little bit of break one month, I guess, it, almost a month because they did have an update, you know, like in the middle of December. So it doesn't exactly count. So it's like a one and a half month period. But you get what I mean. They have been consistent with every single update. Now, it doesn't mean like every single update is the most amazing update, right? There's still, you know, some updates that lack a lot of a lot of stuff in it that you forget get pretty easily, you know what I'm saying? And I have to say, the last updates for the past year are probably like that because they're forgettable. And the reason why is Jailbreak kind of has everything, you know, everything you possibly want, you know, every single car, I guess, I, I, not every single car, but every single feature in the game. We got helicopters, we got planes, we got 
tanks, you know, anything pretty much anyone's asked for is in the game. I guess you can say something that's really specific that isn't in the game, but you know, I mean, does the community want it? You know, the whole community, when they ask for something, a CMO and Bad DC usually put it in. I mean, they haven't considered tanks until the community asked for it a lot and it got in. So that's really what I wanna say about, you know, jailbreak adding a lot of stuff. And if they add more, I guess it becomes a bit repetitive and stuff. So they probably wanna slow it down, but I feel it just spells bad news for the stability of the game and the player count and probably the popularity too because if it doesn't update people are gonna lose interest we'll see what happens I mean if you look at games that stopped updating that is kind of what happened and honestly I don't really know what to do because Jeopardy doesn't update that means I don't really have content to do and Jailbreak updates is kind of what only I make content on because I can't really think of much to do with just cosmetics. Like if there's new features, maybe I can make videos on them, but the last few updates have just been revamps and cosmetics and stuff. And there isn't really much you can do with that. I guess I could think of other things, but you know, usually update videos spell out, you know, or I guess create videos. And without updates, you really can't make that many videos. But at least we got a live event, which I'm pretty excited for because you know, Jailbreak usually has really, really good live events. So it's gonna be fun to see. I'm pretty sure Simo's going to come out on top and make a peak live event because they probably been working on this for a very long time. But so far, I'm just like surprised about this. I mean, a lot of people are surprised. I mean, we got a Roblox saying, excited to see what they do a lot of people saying like you know what what jailbreak 2 maybe i don't know uh, jailbreak x you know pet simulator x has has that pet simulator they have multiple sequels to their game but no i don't think asimo is going to be doing something like that but we'll see what games they create i mean asimo and Z are a really really good duo they work together really well that's how they made such a really good game as jailbreak but yeah what would you guys like to see me do in replace of jailbreak let me know down below in the comments section what should i do to fill in the gaps of jailbreak since they're going to stop updating after this last live event or I don't know if it's the last live event but the last update in a while at least and what do you guys want me to do I'm thinking emergency response because that's a really similar game to Roblox jailbreak it's not exactly the same thing but it's almost the same thing because we still got that cop and robbers type feel to the game but it's not exactly that because it's mostly role play but really realistic but yeah you can basically call it you know jailbreak but super realistic because there's a citizen theme and everything and there it still fulfills the role of jailbreak but you know it's just super realistic and another game i can think of is maybe popular games like pet simulator 99 blocks fruits i mean those games i do play so yeah let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think and, uh, and everything about this I, I think you guys will have a pretty big discussion in the comments so let me know and uh yeah that's pretty much it peace